Believe it or not, believe it or not, YouTube, I do own hats that are not green. I know, kind of crazy. Here's my white hat. This this is actually my original ultra running hat from the North Face. I love it, but I just wish it was green. Okay. The art of recovery. Today, listen, yesterday, a big run, 25 miles, 7,000 feet of vertical gain, like big, big run. My legs are not feeling uh, trashed today, but I know for a fact that even though I feel okay, they are recovering and regenerating and rebuilding right now. Uh, so we're going to talk about active rest. We're going to talk about, yes, zero drop shoes, uh, some tools that I like to use for rolling out and recovering. There oh, and the art of drinking coffee and sitting on your recliner. That's, that's important too. So, all right. But P.O. Box first. Oh my goodness. P.O. Box. I hear some things are there. Let's go. I've got nine. I've got nine minute pace dialed in pretty good these days. I love it. It's like easy days, easy recovery. And <coughs> listen, oh man, like I don't have a coach, and I am. Uh, I'm not saying I'm ever going to be a coach, but I do enjoy testing the waters in different ways with training, with easy days, easy, hard days, hard. And anyway, I'm anyway. We'll talk more about it, but. I, my legs felt great today. Like they felt great. Like I wanted to go fast, but I knew, wait a minute, I ran pretty dang far yesterday. So anyway, that's a good sign. All right, we're at the gym, going inside to roll out, get in the sauna, get in the pool, stretch out, uh, do a little bit, not too much lifting, uh, but more uh, suppleness work. Active rest. What did I active rest when it snows and you got the kiddos? Here we go. Real glad I didn't do any upper body work today. Real glad. YouTube. The key word is recovery. Art of recovery. All right, we'll get to this in a minute. Good, good times out in the snow. Uh, active rest, active rest around here. Okay, good news. It looks like two shoes arrived today. One I was unable to pick up. I need to get a signature, but the other one arrived. These are shoes. I don't believe these shoes are for me. These are shoes that you all are sending to me to send back out. Uh, to other viewers that need running shoes. So this, it's happening. So this is one pair, two pairs. What I'm planning to do is, I think wait until we have about four or five pairs and then we'll do the first giveaway. So it could happen sooner rather than later. Stay tuned for that. This is ridiculously exciting. I believe these are from Michigan. I'm not sure where this one is from. You saw me pick this uh, slip up at the post office today. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, what are you gonna, it's like, that is pretty special. So if you're a new subscriber, basically people are sending running shoes in that are gently used that I can then give away to viewers that are in need of running shoes. So it's exciting. All right, here we go. 
Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. The art of recovery. We have talked about this topic a little bit in the past, but I feel I feel like it's been at least six weeks uh, in my mind. I don't know exactly, but we've talked about easy runs, hard runs. Today, I want to talk specifically about the whole day of recovery. And if you're a veteran runner out there, I know you probably already do all of this and you've been like, you have your own routine. Uh, but I know for a fact that there's a lot of new runners subscribed to this channel, meaning you just discovered running in the past three months, six months, 12 months. Like if you're a new runner, if you feel comfortable, let us know down in the comments so we can go give you a big thumbs up and say welcome to the running YouTube family uh, and the running world as a whole. Like I have been running for 20 years and I can remember those early years of running. Now I was young, but I just remember the excitement behind finding something that I enjoyed, that I was good at. And so anyway, big welcome to all the new runners. And what I'm about to share is, okay, I, if you didn't know, I ran tw basically 26 miles yesterday up a big mountain and back down. And I knew today that I needed to make sure that I paid attention to my entire day of recovery. Make So that, why? So that I can get ready to go big again, not tomorrow, but on Monday, all right? So I, I said this on Strava today, recovery is almost as important as workouts. I, and I'm really adamant about that, especially as I get a little older. Like we've gotta make sure that we're doing great recovery in between our bigger sessions or our more uh, anaerobic uh, sessions. Okay, so today, I woke up, thankfully, true love, let me sleep in, thanks hon. I slept in till 9.15, 9.30. I won't tell you how late I stayed up editing yesterday's two videos, but I did get a sleep in on a Saturday that was very nice. And that's, you know, tip number one, make sure you're getting en enough sleep after a big, big run in order to let your body uh, rebuild itself. That's where the adaptation happens. Uh, is during your sleep, uh, according to scientists. I don't know all the science, but that's what I've that's what I've read, and I'm gonna go with it. So make sure you get enough sleep. I like to wake up as you saw me with my coffee this morning. True love and I, we uh, put Michael down for his nap, and then we sat in the inside in a recliner. And yes, I say recliner specifically. I put my legs up. I sat there. I think for about an hour, which is amazing. But I just sat there, not running around, not chasing the kiddos, just sitting and relaxing with my feet elevated, drinking a coffee, making sure that like, cause I was, I was tight. I was uh, not sore, but tight this morning as I was getting out of bed. So that's, that's kind of the first uh, two hours of the day. And then I, um, I started walking around in, hold on, where are they? In my Hoka recovery sandals. I'm gonna talk more about these in a minute. Love these things, walking around the house, starting to loosen up a little bit. And then you saw me head out to the post office, go to the, okay, then I went to the rec center and I did a three mile jog, nine minute pace, a little faster. I went about 8.50 pace. Usually I like to keep it right at nine minute pace, uh, which is a good sign. That means my legs are not shot. Like if I would have been running 9.50 pace, that means like I'm really tired and I just probably should just walk. Uh, but night, I was running like 845, 850 pace and it was hard, kind of hard to go that s slow. And then after that, I went into the gym, rolled out, stretched out. Uh, what else did I do? I went into the pool. Uh, I did a little bit of just suppleness, meaning strengthening. When you saw me lifting my calves up, doing some light, gentle calf raises. And again, this is all just to get the legs moving even though it's very tempting to sit around the house all day, I'm a big, big believer in active rest the day after a big race, the day after a big workout, because have you ever heard of this? DOMS, D-O-M-S, probably many of you have, but it's delayed onset muscle soreness. So if you're a newer runner, especially, 
you're you're usually not going to be the the most sore right after a race like the day after it usually takes two days for the soreness to really set in so keep that in mind so tomorrow there's a good chance my legs will be barking at me a little bit more than they were today that was my day and the day's not done i'm gonna go back inside and do a few more things but that just gives you a feel for what i like to do after a hard effort okay here's a few items that i like to use to help in my recovery in that art of recovery all right I'm a big fan of Epsom salt baths. Uh, basically, Epsom salt helps reduce soreness and aches in your muscles. Uh, you just put it in the bathtub and you just soak for like 20, 30 minutes. I've been doing this for four years and I just, I, I think it helps me. And who knows, maybe it's a mental game, but I, I love Epsom salt baths. And again, all of these things I'm gonna mention are down below. Uh, also, the foot log, if you've been watching the channel long, you know how I, how much I love this foot log. It's basically a tool to roll out your feet specifically, although I actually have been using it a little bit on my soleus as well. Uh, so you just, it just digs into your feet nice and it's, it's, it's like a little massage for your feet after those hard days when you're so tired after long workouts. So love the foot log again down below and then moving on to turmeric. All right, some of you probably, I, I take a turmeric supplement consult your doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I love turmeric is basically a natural anti-inflammatory. And yes, I have this tea. It's a ginger turmeric tea from Trader Joe's. Love this stuff. And who knows, like at the end of the day, I probably will never know for sure, for sure if turmeric's making a difference in how my legs feel after a hard day, but I think it does. And hey, it tastes good on a cold winter night. Oh, there it is. Okay, and ultra shoes. Okay, I'm interested, guys. I'm. I don't think I'm ever gonna race an ultra, or even attempt like a fast workout. But I am very excited about this shoe for recovery days. I really am. And there's a good chance I'm gonna buy a second pair in 2019. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but. For the new runners out there, Ultra is a shoe company that produces, creates zero drop shoes, meaning the stack height in the heel is exactly the same height as the, the forefoot uh, or the toe box. And basically it helps me stretch out my soleus and my calf just a little bit on those easy days. Not to mention, I really like the feel of this Ultra Torin midsole. And lastly, the Hoka recovery sandal. I almost forgot to talk about this. I love this sandal. I used to wear Ufus, O-O-F-O-S, but I actually found that they were a little too comfortable, meaning too much cushion, too soft. I do love this Hoka recovery sandal because it has a little more uh, rigidity to it, a little more support compared to Ufus. Oh man, like I wear this thing every single day and I've been I've been wearing it since July almost every day, so 9 months and the out like it still has probably I'd say at least 6 months of life left in it. So, Hoka recovery sandal again down below. Love this thing. And okay, the question of the day, and I know we've talked about this topic in the past recovery through the question of the day. Uh, but there's always new subscribers, which means there's new wisdom out there to learn from down in the comments. So feel free to share. And I don't know if we've uh, taken it quite from this angle before. What is one action item that you do every single time, like the day after a long run or a marathon race? So when you're really tired after a long effort, what do you do no matter what guaranteed the day after your race like for me that was today was my day to do my action items to make sure that i'm ready for my next hard effort on monday all right let us know your thoughts down in the comments just like one action item and you might have to pause and think like oh yeah what do i do to make sure i'm recovered and ready to rock and roll for the next go round. All right, everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And thanks for being you on YouTube. Ah, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm. Time to go drink some tea. See you tomorrow.